Hello Zenful Mamas, another day and another video. So today I wanted to ask you how much of the power struggle that you have with your kids has to do with control. How much are you trying to control them and the outcome of things? How much control do we as moms feel that we need to have? So in my case, I know that a lot of the stuff, a lot of the power struggles I was having with my kids was because of my need to have things to be my way. When I realized that when I could be a little bit more open and maybe not so rigid of how I wanted things to be and maybe have a little bit more of a discussion or be a little bit more open to what my kids wanted or needed, that things got a little bit better. Now, of course, they're gonna want to go to sleep at 11 o'clock at night, sometimes on a school day, um, and that is not acceptable because they need to function properly the next day. But, so stuff like that, no. But other stuff where, for example, um, being the control freak that I was, and needing everything to be a certain way, my way, um, there were times where I would get into arguments with them because they did not maybe organize their closet or their shoes the way that I wanted them to be organized. When I let go of that, and as long as their shoes were in their closet, now what that looked like was a different story, right? But when I started letting that go, things started to flow a little bit more. So my invitation to you today is just to look within and notice how much control are we exerting on our kids? What is our need to have things to be a specific and certain way? And what happens if it's not that way? Is it such a big deal? So for the closet and the shoes example, is it such a big deal that the shoes are not in perfect line order? Or, you know, is it okay for them to be kind of stacked up but in the closet and not all over the house? So it's those little things that we start to bring attention to. How much of this need for it to be our way is really causing us to not be so happy. Just check in, see what's going on. And maybe we can do something about those little things to help us be a little bit happier. Good luck, sinful mamas.